Okay, so this is a brief introduction to the process. Uh, so we use a strip heater, and it's sometimes called a line bender because it will bend plastic along a certain line. So this is what the end product would look like after it's been engraved on the laser cutter. And the bend we're going to put in is this one here, which is slightly greater, um, slightly less than 90 degrees. Yeah, so it'll be about 80 degrees bend. And we're going to use a jig, which is this here, to help us achieve that angle in a moment. Now we start off with, this is just a scrap piece of acrylic, which is a thermoforming polymer. Thermoforming means that it will be able to reshape if it is gently heated. It can be reset to a new angle or a new shape by application of gentle heat thermoforming. Now I'm going to place this piece of acrylic over the element. Now the element is glowing brightly orange. It is very hot, like a, an electric fire burning away. If I was to touch that, I would be in a great deal of pain. I'd probably need hospital treatment. So there are some guide rails here and at the back, and they give me an indication of how close I can get before I'll burn myself. And I can place the acrylic over, and it will heat in this area directly above the element and it will heat it locally and it won't get hot all over the sheet just in that strip. So that's where we get the name, strip heater. Now there's no indicator lamps other than the one that says it's on and it's set to full power but there's no indicator lamp that says that the acrylic is ready yet. It's just going to take as long as it takes. Now I'm going to turn this over like a good piece of cheese on toast so it heats evenly on both sides. As you can see, there's no apparent burning yet. If I was to leave it too long, then it would start to bubble, and that is not uh, desirable. That would be something that we couldn't get rid of later, and it would be basically ruined. If you leave it any longer than that, it could actually catch fire. So obviously there's a point beyond which we can't go, and at the moment it's not ready. I'm trying a little bend and it's slightly giving, but it needs a minute or two longer. So I'm just gonna flip it over and wait a little bit longer. Okay, so the thicker the acrylic or the thicker the polymer, the longer this process will take. This is about five millimeters thick, the stuff that we're using for this project. And it's gonna take a couple of minutes. If it was a lot thinner, it would already be ready by now. So it'd be a lot quicker. That's just the material property. Now here, we can see it's starting to give. It's still a little bit difficult for me to do that, but we can see there's a slight bend occurring where I want to, and it'll go both ways, but it's still not quite ready, and I could snap it if I was to do it too early. So I'm going to just wait a couple more minutes, keep talking about it. Any other features we need? It's a little bit dusty. Um, that's just because it doesn't get used every day. And we can see where some people have allowed their plastic to melt, as it's uh, in, in the past because they let it on too long. That's getting to the point now where it's just starting to become nice and flexible. I'm sure that's clear from the video, and that is almost, I would say, ready. So I'm gonna transfer that to the jig, or the mold, and I'm gonna use that to bend it round. And I need to hold this in this new position for as long as that takes to cool down. Okay, at the moment, it would be far too hot to touch that with my bare fingers, and I would burn myself by touching the plastic or the polymer. So I'm just gonna leave this in this position. The jig helps me keep the angle to about 80 degrees, and that stops the finished product from tipping over when it's completed. If it was set to 90 degrees, it would tip over more often. Now it's been there for a minute or two. I've got the angle right, so I can take the jig away. I don't want to leave it because it will spring back slightly, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of, keep that pressure, keep that angle constant. And we can see, if I was to let go, it would spring back slightly, and it's now getting cool enough to touch, but it's still quite hot. Yeah, I don't want to leave my hand on there, although it's not burning me. Okay, so that's the process of strip heating, and sometimes called line bending.